What's up, guys? Franco here with the Factory Built Podcast. And today we have a great guest, Barry Grimes from Grimes Property Solutions, and also has a podcast called MH Life. So thanks for being here, Barry. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, um, if you could just briefly kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and your kind of background around factory built housing and manufactured housing. Trying to transition out of the corporate world yeah, five, six years ago. My plan was to uh, go into real estate investing. Uh, as I was doing a little bit of background and research, I kind of stumbled across mobile homes. And probably like a lot of folks, I had some stereotypes in my head. So, you know, it really wasn't something I thought of initially because I researched it and just saw how good and how valuable it is for a lot of people and how much faster and frankly, how many more people we could help. We decided to go with mobile homes. So our company, Grimes Property Solutions, we uh, help people find mobile homes and we help people sell mobile homes. We bring those folks together and just shoot for a win-win for everyone. I love that. Could you talk a little bit about the stigmas and the myths around uh, mobile homes? Yeah, there are a lot of them out there. And again, I don't blame anyone that has these that, that really never learned about mobile homes because I kind of had the same perceptions as well. But probably the number one thing I hear is uh, safety concerns because, you know, we see a lot of these movies where they show mobile homes or trailers and they're just getting blown off the foundation. When the truth is these homes are just as safe or maybe even safer than, you know, these standard uh, still stick built homes. These homes are still standing because they're, they're built to certain specifications. HUD has really strict requirements. So exactly. if you get a mobile home, you know, that is something that is really safe and it's not going to blow away. These, these things are really secure. In fact, we sell homes that, I think the oldest home we ever sold was a 1952. And again, it's here in Florida, hurricanes. That's before the codes even came out. And those things are still standing. They're in great shape. Can you talk a little bit about your experience from helping people get into these and, and how it helps people get out of renting and into that home ownership? Um, oh my God. Steps yeah. that ahead, right. Now, I'm going to talk both ends of the spectrum. So here in Florida, we have a lot of retirees. Okay. So, you know, we have people on uh, fixed incomes. They haven't had a lot of savings during their life. So they, they get to a stage where their kids are gone. Um, and they're ready to kind of get out on their own and into a smaller place that they can handle and, and uh, also be able to afford. But you know, to, to rent a house or to rent an apartment, some parts of Florida, we're talking fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars a month for these one bedroom uh, deals. They're they're small, they're cramped. There's a million rules that are in place, so it, it really uh, locks a lot of folks out. And home ownership is really just out of the question for people at that stage of their life. So we we help a lot of these folks find a home that's affordable and safe. And a lot of them are in parks, so you know they pay a fixed monthly park rent that's probably 25% of what an apartment rent is. So mm -hmm. that, that cost is kind of locked in. Plus it gives them a lot of amenities and it, it puts them in a, a community with people that are, that are like them, you know, like age and kind of a lot of similarities and things they like to do. They, they can be active. There's lots of activities and it allows them to get in there with, you know, basically no money down. They buy the home, so they own their own home. Nobody can take that away from them. They pay their monthly park rent. And they're actually living a high quality of life at an advanced stage. You know, we have people in the middle too. Well, let me take you to the other end of the spectrum. My, my son, he's 19 years old. Uh -huh. He bought a mobile home. Wow. For 19, he is a home owner. Yeah. He will have that to move to private land if he wants to. Mm -hmm. just keep living in it. He could rent it out. He could sell it. There's just there's so many options with, with mobile homes. It's just, uh, you know, so much more affordable than you find with apartments. And, and certainly if you want to buy a house, it, again, it's just out of reach for a 19-year-old as well as a retiree that's, that's yeah. living on a fixed income. It's definitely better off because you actually, again, you own your home. You own your property. You don't have to worry about your rent going up two, $300 each, each time you renew. You got your own private space. You don't have someone on the top, the bottom, the side, on each side of you. So you have more privacy. 
you have more activities that that um, you can work with, and it's just just more options. And again, number one is just more affordable and makes it within reach of people that normally would not be able to live in that quality of life. I wish people could see the actual lifestyle uh, that these communities are. Now it's very nicely landscaped, and it is safe. And, you know, exteriors look great. And it's just almost in many times, and I've seen some in Florida as well, it's resort-like yes. communities. And watching people be able to grow, get that step into home ownership through these homes, these families being able to get that, you know, not from zero to hundred, but zero that to like 50, which is that first, exactly. right? Exactly. Because like, there's that big separation from, it's so hard when you have a moving target of like, at least here, like a, a home that, used to be a million dollars and now it's going to 1.5 when you're trying to save up that gap in between is so it's such a difficult feat but yes for sure having that mobile home middle point really allows them to get ahead and really be able to catch up they're, they're not mansions but they are very livable they're very affordable most of them well they don't have security so they're in safe neighborhoods so i i just see that growing our goal is just to kind of continue what we're doing. We, we're going to continue to help as many people as we can, bring more awareness, get more people um, out of the rent cycle and into the ownership cycle, and just keep pushing forward in that way. That's amazing. Well, thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Frank. I appreciate it. Best of luck to you, buddy. Thanks.